My name is Shaw, Lindsay Shaw. My day job is pretending, and I am here for inspiration, motivation, by an invitation from very cool people. I'm super excited to learn more about this. I get to present tonight, which is such a great honor. Um, yeah, just like hearing hearing stories that open your heart. That's that's why I'm here, and I am very grateful. My my name is Bryce Dallas Howard. I am an actor and uh, I'm here tonight because one of my best friends in the world, Mariana Polka, is being uh, acknowledged for her in incredibly heroic work, uh, uh, particularly as, as a patient advocate for Huntington's disease. And, um, and it's just, it's fantastic to get to celebrate her and to be amongst the community uh, of, of individuals who are struggling with or associated with or supporting. Uh, folks who have rare and genetic diseases. I am Andrew Stratton and I represent the Lipodystrophy co community with Lipodystrophy United and I am so excited to be here at the Global Genes Wear Gala. My name is Chris Allen. My day job is I, is I, I sing with my mouth and, uh, and I, I'm excited to be here because I think this is a great cause and the people that are involved with this thing are just special, special people. So, um, and the people that it helps are special people. So I'm glad I'm, glad I'm able to be here. This is my second year. So um, hi, my name is Tony Asina. Um, I'm representing myself. Uh, I have atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome and I'm a patient advocate. And um, I'm super excited to be here. It's my first year and everything is beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. And I feel very lucky to be able to be here. We're here at Global Jeans tonight and we are going to be kicking off the show with a live performance. Uh, my name is Jesse Merriman. I'm representing CDA and other blood dis uh, rare blood disorders. Uh, this is my second year attending the gala and I'm very excited uh, rare, uh, G Global Jeans has had me back. Um, I advocate for them out in the Bay Area and uh, we're very excited to be here. And today I'm wearing Jacques Roux out from SF. So uh, we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Hi, I'm Madison McLaughlin. I'm an actress on Chicago PD, and I'm so excited to be here tonight. Actually, two of my three little sisters have a very, very genetic disorder. And to be here and to see the people that are changing our lives and the people that are in the same boat as us, you know, it's, I couldn't think of a place I'd rather be. I'm really excited to be here. What diseases do your sisters have? My sisters have a disease called HBSL. And there's 12 people worldwide actually diagnosed with it as of today. So it's, you know, there's always something new going on, that's for sure. Are they okay? Yeah, yeah, they're great. They're in very high spirits. You know, they're 13, 11, and 9, and the 13-year-olds and the 9-year-olds are the, one di they're the ones diagnosed. Then they're high spirits. I don't know any happier people in my life. You've got to put a human face on these disorders to really put them on the 5 o'clock news or the newspapers. And awareness is a big thing. Fundraising is big, but also awareness. Uh, and that's where I found my uh, Run Across America really served the rare disease community. And great people wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I'm really inspired by the stories I came across. Not just the children, but also the, uh, the parents, the siblings, the advocates, and also uh, many people in different communities, whether it's uh, private sector or government, they really have uh, inspired me to keep running and I congratulate everybody else in the rare community. So, America's a beautiful country, great people, and uh, that was a big thing for me, so honored to be here. My name is Travis Flores, I'm an author, actor, and philanthropist, and I also have cystic fibrosis. Well, I think uh, Global Genes is a great organization, I'm really proud to be here tonight. Uh, on behalf of the cystic fibrosis community, we have a few other CF patients here tonight as well. CF affects 1 in 30,000 people in the United States, 70,000 people worldwide. So it's, it's definitely not a disease that is com as common as other illnesses. So to be here and represent that organization and, and the disease itself is just incredible. Forming. But I'm actually going to accompany one of the uh, one of the guys that has a he has a rare disease, and uh, he wants to sing a song, so I'm going to play guitar for him.